Hello everybody, welcome back to Rain and Pause. This is a follow-on from last video. Um, I've got Lisa here with me. Hello. If you saw the last video, you would have seen that we poured this little thing. We poured it over the top of another one because the pillow paint was too thin. Um, and that pillow paint uh, that we used in this one was quite thick, which means that we needed to adjust our colors. So sometimes it is a journey of adjusting one thing or another. So we're going to leave that white pillow paint open to thicken. And we're going to continue using this Sherwin-Williams sea salt colour. Um, so we're going to attempt to not get boogers in there. And we're going to see how we go. So I'm just pouring straight over the top. While your paints are wet, you can do this. Just remember that you do have paint on the surface already. So things are going to slide and move around a little bit easier. Now the Sherwin-Williams paints are not actually paints, they're bases. Uh, so they don't have any or as many binders in there. You can still use them for your art. Um, but what that means is that they gum up really quickly and they get gloops in them quite easily. So same color combination as last time. We're going on with this little piggy, Golden Peach, in the center. Followed by Amsterdam Sky Blue. Then uh, Triart or Golden Cobalt Turquoise. I would use Matisse Cobalt Teal. I love that color and it's super vibrant. Then this little piggy twinkle. So what we did is we thickened up our colors quite a bit. Then this one is Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet. And then Golden Payne's Gray straight under the cell activator and this time I'm just going to use white. We're changing things up all the time around here. <laughs> okay, white cell activator. Here we go. Really nice. Mm -hmm. Very, very pretty. Mm -hmm. Still losing a little bit of the golden peach. I think because it's the first layer, I think it needs something to stand out on. Well, or put it just more. Just more? Yeah. I love, I think this is looking better than the last yep. ones. Like thickening out really helped. Yep. We just need more. Yeah. More, more, more. Okay. Well, but let's go straight over the top. No, why spin it? See what happens. Oh, okay. Don't judge it before you spin it. That's most motto. Such, he is such a wimpy spinner. Okay, no, yeah, go. Yes. <laughs> and a wimpy spinner because <laughs> it's going in all of the colors. <laughs> You're supposed to move them. Yeah, well, I'm doing at least Marvin style, okay? <laughs> all right, let's see. Ooh, oh, terrible. Yeah, gross, over the top. Oh, gr yeah. Also, because um, there was a big chunk of cell activator left in the middle, it grows really, really big, but it yeah. can get kind of wonky. Don't like it, yuck, straight over it. Bye. Put more color, though. More color. Ooh, of all okay. of it. Okay, ooh, okay. Yeah, you can do it. Okay. We don't skimp here. No. I do like these cells though. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. Yeet. <laughs> all right, more color. Yeah. Let me do it. That's all good. Do it. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, too, too much shit. <laughs> okay, golden peach. Amsterdam sky blue. I never in my life put this much color. <laughs> Golden Cobalt Teal, Cobalt Turquoise, <coughs> um, the purple that now has pillow paint in there, <laughs> mix that through. Oh. Uh, <laughs> we have <laughs> this little piggy twinkle, 
so much colour. I mean, Annette wouldn't necessarily put that much. Oh, <laughs> she says put more, and then when you put more, ah, oh, that's too much. <laughs> we'll see if that so makes much. <laughs> okay, and I'm not putting as much of the Payne's Grey and the Purple. I'm just putting the same amount because they are quite powerful. Okay, cell activator. I think I want white and Payne's Grey. <laughs> Changing it again. So I'm going to put white on the bottom this time so it sucks up the colour from underneath. Payne's Grey on top. That's my preferred layering. That cute. is better. Yeah. Look at these cute guys right there. Yeah. So many cute guys. A little bit of black selects better here. So you want to blow that out, let it come back together. That'll get rid of the clump. Okay. Cute. Let's see, let's see this is good. Okay, here we go. Spinning slowly to get rid of most of the yuck and then I'll give it a good spin. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, it's nice. So sometimes more colour is better. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray, that was a good suggestion. For a moment there I was concerned I didn't press record. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a waste. <laughs> that's cute. You can definitely see the golden peach now. Yeah. So that's another thing. Experiment with layering. Experiment with adding more colour, adding mm -hmm. less colour. Mm -hmm. Cute. That is pretty. And the double cell activator really makes nice cells. Yeah, the double nice. I, I always find a double cell activator mm -hmm. makes better cells than mm -hmm. just one. Yeah. Okay, just spinning off center, trying to cover myself in paint. <laughs> always want to shift that middle so you don't get wonky cells in the center as it dries. Cute. Yes. This is a nice little color combination. Mm hmm They're really cute. Golden peach and blue go really nicely together. What do you think? I think she looks pretty cool. We'll mm -hmm. take you down for a close-up and we'll show you all of these gorgeous cells and the shimmer. All right. Okay, so finally got one we're happy with. Here is this beautiful color combination. So we've got golden peach there in the center you can see how pretty that is and that throws off a really nice gold sort of shimmer over the top of everything this little piggy twinkles in there as well that beautiful blue iridescence you can see so we only use two piggies in this one those blues work really nicely together you get a really nice gradient from both of those blue colors and the paints gray and the purple just work really nicely on the top as those top layers Having that double cell activator gave us some really fantastic cells. Look at those. And I like layering the white on the bottom so it sucks up some of that color from the paints underneath. And you also end up with some really cool peacock cells like these where you've got rings inside rings. Look at those, how cool is that? Really nice tight cells having the darker color on top so the black helps to make it really defined. And I think this one's successful. So we'll let these dry. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you like what I'm doing, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.